going to be doing some tats and I'm going to be doing some guava tats. I have my Grace Guava Jelly here. And I'm also going to be doing some prune tats. I have my prunes here. So let's get the crust ready. So I'm going to be doing a short crust recipe. And I'm going to be using cold butter. I just took this out of the freezer. I both shredded and I cubed my butter. Here I have some ice cold water, salt and sugar, and one egg yolk. Let's get it started. Now, first thing I did was just blend together the salt and sugar. Now, I'm putting sugar because I'm making a sweet pastry. If you're making savory like a quiche, you can omit the sugar. I'll take my fork and mix that all together. Now, the easiest way to do this is in a food processor, but I'm aware that a lot of people maybe do not own one or just want to do it using their hands. So we're gonna make this as simple as possible using the least bit of gadgets as possible. So the ratio is two to one. So I have in here two cups of flour. So I'm going in with one cup or eight ounces of butter. Now I grated some and I cubed the rest. Now you don't have to do it this way. You can just cube all or grate all. Make sure your butter is cold. So I'm going to start by using my hands. I'm just gonna get in there and just try to break down the the butter because we're looking for like a uh, we're looking for a coarse breadcrumb consistency. Okay, guys. So this is the consistency I'm talking about the coarse breadcrumbs. All right, nice. So next, I'm going to make a small well. And I'm going to go in with my egg yolk. Okay. I'm going to incorporate it. And next, I'm going to start going in with my cold water. And I'm going to go in. See, there's ice in here. I'm gonna go in one tablespoon at a time. So I'm gonna start with three tablespoons. So we're not looking for a soft dough. we looking for is just for the dough to come together okay I'm gonna pour it out onto my baking mat so I'm gonna lightly dust the surface and then I'm gonna pour this out So all I'm doing is just gathering it together. Okay, form it into a ball. And I'm gonna cover this up with plastic wrap and place it in the fridge for one hour. And then I'll be back to do our pastry. So I'm gonna start doing my prunes. Now in the pot back here, I have some water. So I'm gonna go in with my prunes. So the prunes are in. Next, I'm gonna go in with my sugar. I'm using brown sugar. You can use white if you would like to. Followed by some cinnamon. And I'm also going in with some vanilla extract. I'm gonna cover the pot and have it start boiling. And once it starts to soften up, we're gonna mash it. Okay. 
just going to be mashing it. So it's all mashed and done. Yeah. So I, I put the stove off and I'm going to allow it to cool. And then I'm going to start rolling out my dough. So I just took my dough out of the fridge. I am going to lightly flour my workspace. I am going to dust my rolling pin. So the first thing I want to do, I want to just flatten the top. You don't have to. And I'm going to cut one third of the pastry out. And this is so that I can roll it out and I can make my designs for the top. So I'm going to place it back into the plastic wrap and put it back into the fridge until I'm ready to use it. And I'm going to continue to roll this out. And you're going to roll from the middle going out. Now. I'm going to take this out. Remember from the middle and go outward. So it is as thin as I need it to be. And I'm going to be taking my cookie cutter and cut out using the rigid edges, just for aesthetics. You don't have to use it like this. See? So I'm just going to carefully remove The rest of this just gonna mold it back put it in the fridge for a few and then use it so now I'm gonna be putting the dough into the pan I'm just pressing down slightly. I'm going to start to put my my prune filling. I'm doing half prune, half guava. Next, I'm going in with my guava jelly. So here I have what is called guava paste. So I'm gonna be putting some slices. Okay. So I'm gonna place these to a side. So I'm gonna be doing strips you can use a knife, but I'm using my scraper. And I'm cutting it in half like this. So I'm gonna cut a few more strips and I'll be right back. So it's like I'm making a template first and then I'm gonna cut off the excess. See, like this, and I'm going to cut off the excess. Then I'm going to use a fork 
and just press it down. Yep, y'all see? And I'm gonna do the rest and I'll be back. And now I'm gonna start going in with my egg wash. And my egg wash is made up of one egg yolk and a tablespoon of water. Okay, so they have egg wash on them and I'm gonna put them into the oven right now. My oven is set to 400 degrees and I'm gonna leave them in there for about 15 to 20 minutes until they're, or until they're golden brown. Okay, stay tuned. So here are my tarts, my prune and my guava tarts, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and see you guys in my next video. Bye.